Okay, so let's take a look at how to do the ratio of areas for the two figures, one and two. Okay, so both of these questions are, are give, asking us to calculate the ratio of one area to another. So in question A, what we have here is the first area is this uh, area one is marked by a triangle. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so we can see it. And then area two is marked just as the bottom part of this, uh, what it would look like to be a bigger triangle or this trapezoid area. So what we're asked to do is figure out how could we do the, uh, the ratio of the areas for this. Now the problem with, with question A is we don't have a formula in which we can calculate the area of um, region one um, because even though we know it's a triangle, it, we, there's no indication there that it's a, it's a right triangle or a triangle that we can just use base times height divided by two. And then the area two here is like a trapezoid, but again, there's a specific formula for that and it involves some vertical heights and things like that. So we don't have that. So we have to kind of look at another strategy. So what we can start to do is um, one of the hints is that we see here is that we have two parallel lines. So the parallel lines, it means that we have angles um, formed by the lines that cut across here as a transversal which are going to be um, equivalent or congruent. So the first angle that we can mark here as being equal is this one right here. So I'm going to do a little mark and I'll just put a little one tick through it. So these are corresponding angles because that line cuts the two parallel lines and that means that we would have corresponding angles which are equal. Okay, and then likewise we have another line here that cuts the two parallel lines. So I'm just going to mark this with two slashes that shows that this is also going to be equal. And then what we have in the very top corner here is another angle, okay, which doesn't really correspond to anything else, but we do know that it would be, it will have a different measure than either of the two that we've marked. So I'll put that in with three slashes. Okay, so what we have here is we've got now a case in which we can say we have similar triangles. So if I'm just going to label the, the points here, so I'm going to have here's, here's A, B, and C, and then the two points at the bottom, I'm going to label D and E. Okay, so what we have here is we have um, a small triangle, uh, triangle ABC, okay, and then we have a larger triangle, triangle ADE. So let's put the triangle mark here triangle A, D, E. Okay, and we can ask ourselves, are those two triangles similar or equivalent? And the answer is yes, because there is a property that says if we know the three angles of a triangle are um, equal, then we can say that though that there we could have two triangles which we could say are similar. So by the property of what's called angle, 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 we have similar triangles. Okay, so what that lets us do is that lets us basically say that these two triangles are equivalent. Okay, so now how, how do we go from there? Well, what we can do here is at this point, if we know we have similar triangles, then we could say the areas are going to be in similar proportion. Okay, so that's the next sort of thinking in the logic here. The areas, okay, are um, proportional or they're going to be a scale of each other. All right. Now, three and the two are linear measurements. So we have to remember how that works here. So if we have a linear measure, okay, and if we're looking to figure out area, how are linear measures related to area? Well, they're related to each other by the square. Okay, so that means we can square a linear measure and then that will be um, equivalent um, or congruent to the area of that, that shape's measure, okay? So let's just think about what we've got here. So we have region one, which is a triangle, okay? And then we have region two, which is um, a, uh, it's a trapezoid of some, it's a quadrilateral. In this case, actually, it is a, uh, a trapezoid because it's got two parallel lines. But how do we, how can we 
calculate the, the ratio of the areas. Okay, well, we know for region one, okay, the triangle, if we know the linear measure is three, then we know that the, the area, proportional area for that triangle area space would just be three squared. Okay, and then how do we calculate region two? So region two is part of the bigger triangle. Okay, so if we could imagine the big triangle, one plus two, and then we take away region, the small triangle on top, we would be left with region two, right? So region two is just going to be the large triangle. Okay, so the large triangle is given by the dimension of three plus two, okay, which is going to be five. Okay, so I'll just do it here, showing it all together. Three plus two, which is five. Now we want the area of that triangle, and then we square it. Okay, but what we to, but to find region two, what we actually have to do is take the big triangle. Okay, so that's what this one is here. This is the big triangle, and then we subtract from it the small triangle. Okay, so that's the three squared part. So our ratio here of the of the area of one to two. Okay, because remember we're looking we're looking to see the area of one, which is a triangle, and area two, which is a trapezoid, is simply going to be three squared, which is nine. And then three plus two is five. Five squared is 25 minus three squared, which is nine. So the ratio of those two areas is going to be nine to 16. Okay, so a little bit tricky because what you have to do is reason out uh, for yourself that we have two similar triangles contained in that, in that shape, a small one and a large one. And that region one is the triangle, but region two is, a, is not the triangle. It's just the fraction that's left over once you take the big triangle and then subtract the small one from it. Okay, so that's how you would work yourself through question A. Now question B is actually just a little bit um, simpler um, just because the shape is a little bit easier, but we, we still want to find the ratio of the area for one to two. Okay, so ratio of the area of area one and to area two. Okay, now what we do know here is we know that we have a right triangle where the two bases or the two legs are equivalent because they have the single hash mark. And then we also have um, in area two, we have a, again, it's a, a trapezoid where we have the remaining length equal to one of the legs of the triangle. Okay, so we could, we could think of it in this way here. Okay, so let's just take a look at area one first. So we can actually calculate the area of this shape. We know it's a triangle. Okay, so we can just say it's base times height divided by two. Okay, now one of the easiest ways to do this is because the numbers are, because these tick marks are basically the same value, we can just put in an arbitrary number to work with. Okay, so the simplest one we can just say is one. So the area for region one is going to be base times height. Okay, so if we said they're both one, divide by two, okay, which is going to be equal to one half. So that's the area for number one. Okay, now the area for number two, we have to think of it in the same way we did in the last question. We have the large shape, which is in this case going to be a rectangle. Now remember, if each of the legs is one, okay, the area of the rectangle is going to be the length, which is one plus one, times the height, which is one. Okay, so that's the big rectangle. Okay, that's the big piece. But then again, we have to subtract the small piece, part, the area one, away from the big piece. And we already calculate that in the first question above. So the area will, we simply take away a half. So the region two is going to be one plus one, which is two, two times one, which is two, minus a half, which is equal to, um, oops, equal to three halves. Okay, now we can easily calculate the ratio. Okay, so we're gonna do the ratio of one, region one to region two. Okay, so that ratio we can simply just write as kind of a fraction. So region one we know is a half, we're going to divide that or relate that to three over two. So we get an expression here, which is one half divided by three halves. 
Okay, so we can work that out on the side here. If we just, I'll just do it on the, just below here. One half divide by three halves means we take a half times the reciprocal, which is equal to one third. So the actual ratio for this, when we simplify it, is going to be one to three. Okay, let's erase this, the work of it here because you can do that part on your own. So the two ratios, okay, for the first one is nine over 16 for A, and then the ratio for this one is one to three. And that's how you reason both of those out. Okay, so that's how you do that question.